Hey guys, it's Mina. Welcome back to another beautiful day in the garden. Uh, today we're going to be doing something really fun. I want to play with some flip cups again and we have some beautiful colors for that. Before we get started, I wanted to show you the dried results of Stardust. So it turned out pretty neat. I love that indigo background and I love the platinum and the aquamarine in there and that uh, berry color, which we're actually using again today. So this one turned out pretty cool. So we definitely will be playing with pearl pores a little bit more in the future, but not today. <laughs> Put that out of the way, and I will show you what we're working with today. Today we have a 20 by 20 gallery ramp canvas that I have taped the back and put the push pins in. And let me show you the colors. So the first one we have here is Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. Not too, too thick, leaving a mound on a mound and then kind of melting into itself. And next we have Amsterdam. Uh, this is actually vermilion, which is weird because I always thought vermilion was like a red. And <laughs> I'll tell you, when I was mixing this up, I put the vermilion in there and then I went to go put my gold in this cup. And I looked away for a second. When I looked back, I had poured the gold in here. So this is actually 24 karat gold with the vermilion, which is actually very, very pretty. It's really sparkly now. It kind of reminds me of that Modern Masters burnt orange that I really, really liked we used in uh, May Blossom. So that's our vermilion gold mixture. And next we have Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet, which I really love this color. Just so deep and dreamy and creamy and delicious. Again, little mound on a mound and then melting into itself. So that's the blue violet. Then we have Decor Extreme Sheen in Garnet, which is my birthstone. <laughs> and is a very, very, very pretty color. So I have actually put in a squirt of Arteza's Bordeaux Red just to give it a little bit more opacity. So this is the garnet and it's mound on a mound and then melting into itself. Okay. And then we have Deco Art Extreme Sheen in Berry again. And to this one, I have added a squirt of Red Violet from Amsterdam just again to increase the opacity. Mound on a mound and then melts. Okay. And then I have, last but not least, a Deco Art Americana Decor Satin Enamels in pure white and that is mixed with some Amsterdam Titanium White. Okay. So, that's our white. Okay, so to do our flip cups, we are going to be using two nine ounce cups. We have a 20 by 20 gallery wrap canvas here. The back is taped and push pins are in. Okay, so for that size canvas, we need about 15 ounces of paint. These are nine ounce cups. So two of them should be 18 ounces of paint, which should be more than enough. And if I feel like I need a flow extender, I can use any of those colors that I've got. I'll just thin out a little bit. All right, so let's layer our cups first. I actually wanna put a little bit of gold in the bottom just a small amount. Not a lot. And let's get right into that beautiful garnet color. I am going to layer them the same, but I think I'm going to flip them in opposite directions. That's such a pretty color. Okay. I'm going to put a very small layer of white. Actually, I'm going to just drizzle it off the stick on top of that. I really don't want a lot. Okay. Now we're going to get a little shocking and put some of that vermilion on top of that. Okay. And let's come in with the yeah, it's going crazy out there. I don't know what happened. She just like lost her mind when we decided to shoot. <laughs> She's banging on the door. So this is the Extreme Sheen Berry. So I am using two of the Extreme Sheen paints, which do have a history of selling up a lot. And since we're doing the flip cup, that's a good thing. Okay, so now we're gonna, let's put a little bit more gold in there. And we're gonna go with our blue violet again. Uh, 
let's come back to the garnet again. This one's a little emptier than the other one. Okay. Gonna go back to the orange, the vermilion. Be really shocking to put some berry on the other side of that. I actually put what? I just put that tiny little layer of white in there, huh? Yeah, we'll see what happens. If we hate it, we can scrape it. <laughs> All right, so what do we want to do here? I think I want to take a little bit of the gold and thin it out and use that as sort of a puddle to pour into. water in there. Stir that up really good. And I'm making a mess. She's <laughs> very pretty. <laughs> okay, so let's go one puddle over here. And then we're going to do the other one over here. And we'll flip one cup this way and we'll flip this one this way. And we'll see what we get. Okay, so I'm going to do this one first. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Aye, aye. As you wish. Okay. All right. Here we go. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, and now we're going to do this one. So with that cup, I had the berry facing that way. With this one, I'm going to have it facing this way. Ready? Yep. Over here. Mm -hmm. oh, that was like too neat. I like it when I make them look all so They're so pretty. That a minute. And this is the coolest thing about pouring to me is that you can definitely use your consistency to manipulate what effects you create. And obviously having thinner paint does give you more cells like right off the bat we did Stardust and you guys saw those two experiments, the ones that um, didn't work, <laughs> that had the super thin paint and they just, the cell reaction that bloomed like instantaneously. Whereas when I did Stardust with the slightly thicker paint, we did have a reaction with the Extreme Sheen and with the Folk Art Treasure Gold, but the two more opaque paints did not come up as quickly. So, all right. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Let's do a flipping whip on this one. Yep. Okay, here we go. Turn this around because I'm better at pulling them towards me than away from me. Are you ready, darling? Here we go. That one was better, but still not very good. <laughs> flow extender, just a little bit in between. I didn't pull them out, but I didn't flip them very well because this one's really heavy over here and very light over there. So now we're going to have to move the paint that way a bit. But that's okay. All right, let's torch this real quick. that vermilion, there's some little tiny vermilion cells coming up through and that berry where the gold has sort of made like that pink formalin color. Gail, chill. Dude, <laughs> she's going insane. Okay, this is looking pretty good. And I'm happy that we have more cells on this side than over here because we're probably going to end up losing some of that. Um, I'm going to take some of my blue violet and just come in here just put a thin line in there and like around here where I think we're going to need a little bit more paint and just put a little bit on the corners too and as she's 
still don't think so. <laughs> paper towels on backwards. <laughs> okay. Let's tilt this up. We're going to go down this way first and then kind of back and forth to make sure we cover that side. All right. Here we go. I'm just going to walk this down the canvas a little bit. And I'm going to bring the paint over to this side as well. First, bring it back. Go down that way a little bit now and cover that side up. Bring it back here. So the paint is still moving kind of quickly. So at this point we need to decide what do we not want or what do we not like so we can get rid of it because there is still a little bit too much paint on here. It would probably be okay if I left it, but why take the chance? We have a lot on here. So, okay, first thing that I want to do, I'm going to take my finger and just run it through this blue violet, kind of break that up a little bit. I do like these little gold cells that are popping up there, and I love these vermilion cells that are popping up in here. Maybe let's torch it one more time and see what happens if we get more cells in one spot there. But these are so cute! Can you get a close up of these each way? So this is that garnet in there. And uh, the berry went very... looks more pink tourmaline than the pink tourmaline did. <laughs> But we're getting some cool, cool reactions. A little bit of the blue violet over here, which is kind of pretty. Okay. Let's stretch it. Give that a second to develop. Think, HOA? Trippy cool. Is there any parts that you like more than the other? I'm not as in love with your right side as much. I like the side better? Yeah. Me too. I do kind of like that squiggle though, and I just tripped in it. <laughs> okay. I think I agree with you though. I think we're going to tilt this side a little bit. 
can open this up and stretch and get rid of some of that on the bottom. Just a little bit. Just walk it back and forth. It's not moving that fast now. Maybe we can keep some of it. I do like the little gold cells, but I think we're going to lose them. My oh, goodness, Gail is just freaking out. I really love this right here where that garnet is, and then you can see the vermilion underneath it, and then there's like another shadowy kind of line. But I like that there's that blue violet in there with the pinky cells and the gold cells. That's really pretty. Take this one and attach it in there. You want to be careful doing that once you tilt it a lot though. You can see how it's, there's enough paint on there right now to sort of swallow that up. But if there's not enough paint on there, then you've just <laughs> done weird things to your painting. I'm going to take this down just a little bit. So these are some very funky colors together. But I kind of like it though. I like that it's it's got that vermilion in there with the very bright blingy gold. Uh, I do love that pink tourmaline. I love the garnet. I really like this up here where there's the blue violet and the garnet next to it. And then there's like this very thin layer of gold on top of that. That was from the thinned out puddle that we put it into, that we flipped them into. Kind of cool. Different for me. I don't usually do these very, very free <laughs> pieces, but I do like it, and I'm excited to see how this one is going to dry. A little bubble right there. Okay, so I will show you this one when it is dry. Thank you guys so much for being here with us today. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. I'll see you soon.